Hey everyone, today we're diving into Delta Force, and like any competitive FPS, things like frame rate, latency, and visibility can make or break a gunfight. So in this video, I'll walk you through my optimized graphics settings to help you get the best performance and clarity possible. Let's start with display mode. I highly recommend running full screen. It gives you the lowest input latency. Personally, I use borderless windowed, just because I like to tap in and out while recording or editing. For resolution and refresh rate, if you're running borderless, you can't manually change these. But if you're running in full screen, make sure your resolution matches your monitor's native resolution and your refresh rate matches your monitor's max refresh rate. Next, we have in match frame rate cap. I have mine set to 165 Hertz, which is my monitor's refresh rate. But for some reason, it was sitting around 160. Switching to unlimited fixed that. Now it holds a steady 165 at my full refresh rate. Next, we have VSync. Always turn VSync off. Unless you're seeing screen tearing, it adds input delay, which is never good for FPS games. For default FOV and vehicle third person, these come down to preference. I play at 120 FOV because I like the extra visibility to the sides, but some players prefer the lower FOV for larger targets. Go with whatever feels right for you. And finally, we have scope and magnification. Set this to off. It prevents unwanted zoom scaling when you're aiming. Now let's move on to basic graphics. I like to start with the low preset, then tweak individual settings for visibility and clarity. Starting with anti-aliasing. I turn this off. Turn it off keeps the image sharp and helps spot enemies more easily. If it's not allowing you to change your anti-aliasing, go down to your super resolution mode at the bottom and turn off super resolution mode. We can always turn it back on later. Next, we have weapon motion blur. Turn this off. I never use motion blur myself because to me, it makes the visuals look messy. For reflections, I've turned this to low. There's no need for fancy water or shiny surfaces when in combat. For texture filtering, I have this set to high. Anything lower makes the textures look muddy. For ambient occlusion, I have this set to off. This one's important. Turning this off makes enemies stand out more in darker corners. For my particles, I have this set to low. It removes unnecessary clutter, like the waterfall in Zero Dam, and improves performance. For distortion, we have this set to low. This keeps explosions clean, and it doesn't really affect gameplay clarity. For scene details, I have this set to Ultra. It makes the world feel sharp without hurting performance too much. For scene view detail, I have this personally set to high. Setting this to low makes distant objects pop in and out, which is very distracting. I prefer smoother visibility, even if it costs a few frames. Now we move on to advanced graphics settings. First thing, rendering scale. Just leave it at 100. For depth of field, I've got this off. It removes a background blur effect when aiming. Turning this off keeps everything sharp and improves visibility during gunfights. For global illumination quality, I have this set to low. This controls how realistic lighting and reflections look. Setting this to low gives a solid FPS boost. Next, we have our shaders set to low. It simplifies surface effects like lighting and reflections. It's a great way to gain frames without losing important visual details. We have our texture set to ultimate. This keeps your weapon and environment looking sharp and detailed. Running this on Ultimate gives you clean visuals without too much performance loss. For streaming, we have this set to Ultimate. This makes the textures load in faster and improves small world details. For shadows, we have this set to Extreme. High quality shadows make depth and movement easier to read. It's heavy on performance, but improves enemy visibility and immersion. For shadow map, we have this set to Low. This reduces the resolution of distant shadow maps to save FPS. For post-processing, we have this set to low. This disables extra visual effects like bloom and light flares. This cleans up the image and improves clarity while keeping your screen distraction free. And for volumetric fog and animation, we have both these settings set to low. And the final thing I want to go through is super resolution mode. If you're on AMD, set this to AMD FSR 2.0. And for Nvidia users like myself, set this to Nvidia DLSS. These use AI upscaling to improve performance while keeping image quality sharp. And for super resolution, I set mine to quality. I personally prefer visual clarity over maximum FPS. For frame generation, I have this set to off. Turning this off avoids extra input delay. It's better to have consistent frames and faster response times. And finally, for Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, I have mine set to low latency. After you change these settings, make sure you hit apply. Then, at the bottom, click Recompile Shaders, and don't forget to restart the game. Let me know in the comments what kind of performance boost or visibility improvement you got. I really hope this guide helped you out. If it did, please drop a like, it really helps the channel grow, and consider subscribing for more Delta Force content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.